वंदे गुरुपद्वंदम भक्तविंद समितैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंदसहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोद गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाचाकल्पतरु के पास सिंधु व्यवच अतिता पावनेभ्य वैष्णवीभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगुंगलंघयति गिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदावी तुलसीदेव पिया वै केशव कृष्णभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरुभक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा पिभवन भविष्यदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम पुनतुपाल भवादिपूत वंदे महापुरश ते चरुणिंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमनीटाए विस्फुरीजी तो किमीगोधुषुदर्श पूर्णागरस सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयि कदा कि श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद शिवाद्वैतगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद चिद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलाक्षु विशाबर द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाधार हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरा सुरुर्वंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी नित भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीयटकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषि वाम भाग नारायण प्रियमनंगमदापहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष्व वदने लक्ष्मीजस्व चक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संवी तंगम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे धन जीवन जौवन राज्य सुखम नैनीतमुखन नासु परम तेज घम कथा सकल विफलम 
भज गोद्रुम कान नोरंजी विधुम भज गोद्रुम कान नोरंजी विधुम भज गोद्रुम कान नोरंजी विधुम गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड टू एरेस द कारेंट परवाटेड टाइट ऑफ दिस फैनेटिक सोसाइटी इज अ सीमिंगली अनप्लेजेंट ड्यूटी ऑफ गौरी मठ गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड to arrest the current perverted tide of this fanatic society is a seemingly unpleasant duty of gauriamat many people out of envious attitude many people out of their envious attitude putting question gauriamat what doing what gauriamat doing so many says societies be different x mission y mission they are doing so many thing but what gorima are doing they are asking gorima are doing not going to distribute uh, dry food among the you know people those who are in flood prone area flood flooded area those people are in trap so gorima are not giving dry food to them gorima are not opening hospital Gauri Mat, what doing? What kind of charity? Gauri Mat doing so that we can honor to Gauri Mat. Baba speaking. What Gauri Mat doing? Common people they cannot understand because our brain, material brain, material intel, everything. We can understand only material thing. we can only understand material thing what you are giving what i am taking what i am taking you can get this much so the thing to open hospital is more practical to open different kind of educational society i mean school college is more practical but what gorim are doing we don't understand but gorim are doing popa speaking they are busy with their they are busy with their body and mind so they cannot understand what goriyam are doing to understand this thing you will have to come in front you will have to come in front of gauri devotee pure devotee they can show you what goriyam are doing popa speaking goriyam are actually always seeking the benefit of your soul goriamat always seeking the interest of your soul outside people they don't understand less interest when netaji subhas chandra one freedom fighter very important his mata ji his mother used to come and attend harikatha of sila popat almost daily Nesaji Subhas Chandra Bose he came to Goriamat some day. My Guru Maj also also there. He he came to take blessing from Pohpa because he want to make the make the make India free, a British rule. He was a freedom fighter. He is arranging so many things. Then he after talking with Pohpa and blessing and asking for blessing. asking so many people coming here in your mart so you can give them in our freedom fight i can you can give some of your young batch young boy we can accept them as a freedom fighter what they are doing here they are doing kids and these that they are only sitting doing next to nothing it is the conception of material people but what is genuine sadhu doing if you stay with him then you can realize what he is doing whole day and night popa speaking what you like to do what is your target 
what is your target? My target is to make, is to make India free, freedom. My target is to arrange freedom for India. This is my target. What kind of freedom you mean? What kind of freedom you mean? You mean freedom of your body? You mean freedom of your mind? What you mean? He cannot give answer. Popat asking, you read Gita? Yes, I read Gita. But you have gone through this sloka. You have gone through this sloka. That Jivatma going to leave body and going to take another body. You read, na? Well, yes, I read. Basang si jiranani yatha vihayo Basang si jiranani yatha vihayo Nabani grinnati naro aparani you read Gita daily. So you understand? So you believe that people are going to leave their body and going to take another body. You believe, no? Yes, I believe. Then you are busy to make India free. It's okay. But I like to make all Jivatma free forever. I like to make all Jivatma, those who are coming to me, to take shelter here in Gauriyama, I like to make them free forever. But your freedom, you like to make India free and uh, Indian people can enjoy freedom, but how long? When they leave body, maybe they can take birth in America, maybe they can take birth in Africa, who can say? Is there any guarantee? There is no such guarantee where you can take birth next. You are busy, you are busy with this uh, thing to make India free. So you like to fight with British ru ruler, you know, British government, you like to fight. Yes. So suppose you are going to, suppose you are going to take birth in England, next life. Suppose you are going to take birth in England ne next life. So you can fight with India or you can fight with England? With whom you can fight? Next life, next birth, if you take birth in England, you can fight with England or fight with India. He become, he is very intelligent man. I as an officer, big intelligent. For the time being is for, keep silence. I understand what you mean. But I have nothing to do. Because I already make commitment that I like to make India free. Otherwise, I was supposed to take shelter onto your lotus feet forever, like a sadhu like you. So anyway, it was the duty of Prabhupada. It was the duty of Prabhupada all the time. You cannot even imagine. All the time, day and night, Popa thinking, different kind of plan and program. Different kind of plan and program to deliver bonded soul. All the time. Sometime going to arrange one exhibition in Dhaka or Howrah station or in Eliyahabad on Baranusi, Mathura, demonstration. But because on those days, there was no computer, nothing. Now at present, preaching is easy, but no preaching is there. LED there, you can play Harikatha, people can, road can hear. But that time, it was very tough. All the time, Popat used to think about how to deliver people. What is the way out? Sometimes printing books, sometimes magazine, different languages, speaking in different languages, sending devotees in different places for preaching. All the time. Distributing prasadam, arranging parikram, padam, all different kind of arrangements. 
This is the symptom of a sadhu. Somebody asking Prabhupada, who is sadhu? Somebody asking to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, who is sadhu? Prabhupada giving answer, he who is always 24 hours busy to do something for Bhagavan, Guru, Vaishnava, for all bonded soul. He is not going to rest. He is not going to rest. Ah, I can take it. Let them die. What I can do? A sadhu, his life is totally dedicated unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan. So he is always busy to do something. He can, they cannot waste time. All the time. In Elehavad, Varanasi, Mathura, Kanpur, all everywhere. Prabhupada opening temple and arranging so that people can come and attend, can attend temple, get some idealism. And those who are staying in temple, their idealism, their character should be high class. If they are going to do something wrong, then outside people can watch one sannyasi, one brahmachari is going to lead life this dirty way. That's why Sila Sachidananda Bhakti Thakur used to say, that's why Sila Sachidananda Bhakti Thakur used to say, to organize, to run, to run a spiritual organization, to run a spiritual organization, it is sure that we need manpower. To run a spiritual organization, surely we need manpower. Without manpower, permanent power. But if we are going to admit useless people, full of Raja Tama, they can come and they can do all rubbish activities, their character, their behavior, all can prove that there is no sadhu in the world. In that case, material people can spit on them. So, before opening one spiritual organization, you know the condition of whole temple. You go one, one temple, all country you want to run. See the condition. This is Prabhupada, Bhakti Muttava wanted to forecast. Bhakti Muttava wanted to make forecast long before. If you are at all interested to open a spiritual organization, first of all, you must uh, have ideal character, ideal behavior, idealism should be there. Then if you are going to allow people to admit they in mud, their idealism should be perfect. Otherwise, your opening, otherwise your opening temple is useless. Otherwise, your opening temple is useless, what you can do. Bhakti Muttaka wanted to say, Mat Mandir Dalan Bari Nakoro Prayas. Don't try to make big, big temple. Don't try to make big, big temple or big, big building, because this is one kind of headache for you. You cannot concentrate in Hari Bhajan. It is big headache for you. You cannot concentrate in Hari Bhajan. You can be busy with the maintenance of this building. Who coming, who going? Somebody doing dirty thing in the guest house or not? Uh, money giving or not, he gone. Check out, time is over. All headache. That's why Bhakti Muttaku told, Mat Mandir Dalan Rai Nakura Prayas. Don't try to open a big, 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 big temple. Don't try to make, construct big, big building. <coughs> Why Bhakti Muttaku speaking this way? Why Bhakti Muttaku speaking this way? Because uh, our Guru Bhargava all make temple. Even Prabhupada is going to make temples, so many 64 temples all over. But Bhakti Mitra was speaking, Matmandi Dalanbari Nakarapayas. How we can harmonize these two things? Our Guru Bhargava teaching us, surely this surely, 
surely this instruction is not for Prabhupada. Surely this instruction is not for Prabhupada. Prabhupada wanted to make temple with full idealism, where you can get complete thing. When Prabhupada is going to open any temple or organization, anything, there you can get everything complete. And Popad wanted to arrange the temple in such a way so that each and every member of the temple, those who are residing, I mean staying in the temple, they all number one preacher. Those who are worshipping, any pujari, he is also preacher. Who is cooking, he is also preacher. How possible? What do you say? Cooking preacher? Yes. Cooking preacher. Those who are cleaning the Gorima, also preacher. They are, they are passive preacher. They are not active preacher, but actually passive preacher. Any people coming from outside, they can have some impression by watching their character behavior. Who is cooking? I myself used to cook. I myself used to forcefully. Nobody gave me cooking seva. Because it's Radharani Seva. I used to enter into the into kitchen. I closed the kitchen. I never cooked before. But by the mercy of Bhagavan, I used to cook. Go close the temple. Nobody allowed inside kitchen to see what I am cooking for Gopina. I cannot. With full. And not after taking prasadam, you can enter into kitchen. After taking prasadam, you can go to kitchen, you cannot allow. Fasting. You have to enter into temple, cook, and in cooking time, you cannot go to latrine, you cannot go for passing urine, nothing. So strict. That's why I, I was a horror in the temple. Nobody allowed. If somebody need, need one uh, chili, one salt, they are not allowed. Go outside. It was one kind of evolution. But that is this is the rules of Prabhupada. With full taking prasadam, you are going to cook, not, not allowed. Nobody knows. Archan, if you go after taking prasadam, no archan is not allowed. Even one drop of water you cannot take. First of archan is over, then you can take. So this way, Popat wanted to establish, establish idealism among all devotees. Popat wanted to establish idealism among all devotees. You cannot believe it. At present, it is one kind of you know, allegory. Popat wanted to establish idealism among each and every member of Gauriyaman. But now it is one kind of allegory, false, fictitious story. You cannot believe. Even the gardener, even the gardener who is going to grow flower and fruits there in the garden is also a sober personality. Big sadhu. Big sadhu. One day, I like to make the background in One day, one big lawyer, very famous lawyer, came to Chaitanya Mart to pay Dandavar to Prabhupada. Anyway, they are coming with material pen. Their Dandavar is not perfect. They don't know how to pay Dandavar. Coming to pay Dandavar to Prabhupada, and after the speaking, I am coming to you to hear something, some, some, uh, some lecture from you. But anyway, Prabhupada is not passing any lecture. And Guru Mahas told me, in your whole life, never try to pass any lecture. So I am never passing any lecture. Guru Maharaj told me, in your whole life, never try to pass any lecture. Be careful. Don't try to pass any lecture. If Harikatha you can speak, you can speak. No lecture is not allowed. So the lawyer wanted to hear something from Prabhupada, but Prabhupada has no time. Busy. And Prabhupada can, if Prabhupada can, if Prabhupada can, if Prabhupada looking to somebody, 
If Papa, if Papa is looking to somebody, he can realize what is there inside his heart. See, it was the system that Prabhupada, if going to watch something positive mood, then he could unveil himself in front of public. If he is negative mood, Prabhupada wants to hide himself. If Prabhupada is watching, some people coming as a negative mood, totally, material negative mood. Then it was the system, Prabhupada used to hide himself. But if positive mood, then gradually, okay, Prabhupada used to say something. So the lawyer went to say, you, I like to hear some lecture from you. Prabhupada speaking, actually, you can, uh, you can go to the garden. There is one uh, devotee, big, he can speak Harikatha to you, lecture. Which garden? That garden there, you can find some gardener and doing some seva. <coughs> There you can find a nice Harikatha can speak. The lawyer with his whole family going to the garden and find nobody there who can speak Harikatha. Only one man with gamcha and uh, with mud and everything doing something. So he come back to Popa. You said there is one, uh, man, one devotee who can uh, speak Harikatha to me, but there is nobody. Nobody there. Uh, somebody. But he is a gardener actually with, with dirty clothes and everything. Eh? Papa said, yes, I mean him. I mean him. You go to him. To break the false ego of those people, to break the false ego of those people, Papa was very expert. What is the technique of Papa? Papa used to say, we can invite all we can invite all important you know, men of this society. At the same time, we can put one you know, banner where you can have no entry. We can invite on important people, very important, important as, as per the estimation of this society. We can invite them. But when they are coming, we can write no entry, without permission, no entry. Otherwise, they can see they can think Goryamat is very cheap. Goryamat is very cheap, they can think. They don't know what kind of treasure available in Goryamat. They can take it very. That's why Popat wanted to mix up appliances, glamorous, temple, everything, so that at least people can think we are not bigger. Really, we are bigger. Krishna Bhagavan speaking, I am Krishna Bhagavan, Krishna Bhagavan speaking, I am Nishkinchan. Krishna Bhagavan, Krishna speaking to Rukini, I am Nishkinchan. And those who are Nishkinchan, they love me. Krishna speaking. So all devotees, like Bhakti Mithagur, Bhopa, they are all Nishkinchan. They never wanted to make any property. But to attract people, they wanted to make such arrangement so that people can feel comfortable to come. That's why they used to come. And while they are coming, surely they, come in, they can come in temple. And in temple, they can meet with some devotees. Like the gardener I told you. That gardener is also preacher. That gardener, he is also preacher, a passive. He started speaking Harikatha. Then the lawyer was stunned. He thought he is an illiterate man. Come on, but he is an educated man. Highly knowledgeable personality is speaking Harikatha. Same way, Popat used to engage different disciples, I mean devotees, in different seva. Suppose one, our Asram Maharaj, he was very nice looking. Healthy, very nice, and very highly educated. Prabhupada used to test him, give him the seva of cultivation. He never done any cultivation seva. Never done in whole life. It's a form of high family, Jamindar family. But Prabhupada given you can take the responsibility of the uh, land and uh, this cultivation. And going to carry 
or the sack or paddy, everything on head, carry. This way, it was the nature of Papa to break all false ego inside us. So long as false ego is there, all your archan, all your cooking, all your preaching, all is there. Even all your parikram also. Parikram also useless. What you can do? If there is no humble attitude, nothing, submission, what you can do by parikram? Rup Sanatan, they used to live in Vrindavan. You see their nature. You see their lifestyle. How they used to lead their life. You know? You can go. And Swargaswami Stockham also, it is written. Huh? They are always leading their life this way, very humble way. Bindavan is such a place, it's a unique place. And Bindavan and Navadip Dham are non different from each other. Bindavan and Navadip are non different from each other. Not that Bindavan is separate and Navadip is separate. All same. But manifestation separate. One day Parvati Ma, Devi, one day Parvati Ma, Parvati Devi, asking to Sankar, Sankar Bhagavan, that who is Gauranga and what is Navadip Dham? Devi Maya, Devi asking to Sankar Bhagavan. You should understand that Devi is going to leave body repeatedly and take, it, take new birth and join, you don't know this information. Devi Ma, living body, time to time and going to join. Like Shati Devi, going to live body, burn up body, again going to take birth as a daughter of Himalaya. Again going to join. That Devi going to do asteroids and asteroids penances there in, in South India. You know, Kanna Kumarika. You don't know, never heard. In Madras, Kanna Kumarika. At the bank of, uh, you know, sea, Bharat Sagar, Bharat Ocean. The Devi do it, doing asturity and finances to marry Sankar Bhagavan. So, anyway, Devi asking to Sankar Bhagavan, Prabhu. Who is uh, Gauranga and who is Navadhi? Shankar Bhagavan is going to give answer. Jang eva Radhika Krishna saw eva Gaura Vigra. Jang eva Radhika Krishna, whom you know, whom you know as you know, Radha Krishna. You know now Radha Krishna? Yes. That Radha Krishna is now Gauranga. Jang eva Radhika Krishna saw eva Gaura Vigra. Radha and Krishna in combined form, Radha Krishna in combined form, coming as Gauranga. Jang eva Radhika Krishna, Sahiva Gaura Vigra, and Jacha Vrindavanam Devi, Navadi Vanjadasu. What is Vrindavan? That is Navadi. So Gaura Bhajavane Bhedana Manivo Haiva Radha Rodasi. You heard this kitchen? Perhaps you know, you don't know. Gauru Brajavane Bhedana Manivo, I can never see, I can never see any difference between Brajavandal, Gauru Brajavane Bhedana Manivo, Hoiva Radharo Dashi. There is a. So, this way, actually, about Dham and Radha Govindo, we are getting so many information. But still, with bonded, with, with his uh, material body, to enter into dham is very difficult. So I like to go back to the, I like to go back to Nilachal dham, where Gorang Mahapur repeatedly taking permission from devotees. You permit me, I like to go to do dham parikram. Gorang Mahapur taking permission from devotees, I like to go to you will have to you will have to understand the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
you will have to understand the mood. When Prabhu speaking something, when doing something, all for our teaching. When Mahaprabhu speaking something, doing something, all, each and every step, all for our, for our teaching. So we must understand this point. We know that each and every action of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is for our teachings. Sabhakti Bhyosudyam Nijo Bhajana Mudra Mupadishan Sachaitanya King Me Punarapidi Swarya Swati Padam. Here it is written, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doing everything, each and everything, for the teachings of people, those who are interested to do bhajan. All secret mode of bhajan, all secret mode of manjari bhajan, gopi bhajan, all secret, but common people, they are out of expectation. How they can do? Each and every action. That's why it is written that when Mahaprabhu doing anything, this all for our, he wanted to teach us, he wanted to teach us the procedure of bhajan. He wanted to teach us the procedure of nothing else. So Mahaprabhu taking permission with full eagerness. You give me permission, I have to go to Vindavan. He is, come on, he is Krishna himself. But still he is going to seek permission from devotees in humble mood. I like to go to Vrindavan. But devotee is not giving permission because if Prabhu gone, we are blind. Finally, they took decision. I mean, Sarvam Vartajaja, Rairamananda, they took this. Too much, if I play too much trick with Prabhu, it's not good. Prabhu, now winter season coming. So better winter season over. Then you can go. When Untasana is coming, Prabhu, now actually uh, uh, color festival, you can stay here. After that, after that, Rasayatra coming, so you can stay after that you can go. I mean, they don't like to allow Prabhu to go because Prabhu is their heart and soul. Anyway, they like to keep Prabhu with them. Finally, uh, Mahaprabhu is going to full, you know, then they are bound to give permission, then Mahaprabhu going to Vrindavan. I am not speaking about the first effort. Prabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan first time. Not, that, was, that was not failure. I cannot say this way. That was not at all failure. But I would say the purpose for which, for why Mahaprabhu wanted to go, that was successful. But the first time Mahaprabhu wanted to go, the purpose was totally different. Mahaprabhu wanted to go Ram Kelly Gram to meet with Rup Sanatan there and to meet with you know, Ganga, so many things. And externally Mahaprabhu going to speak, uh, Gadadhar, Gadadhar was very sorry that I leave him alone. I didn't take, I didn't take, him, take him with me. So he was crying for that I am failure too. So for that I am failure to take darshan of Vinda. Mahaprabhu speaking in this humble way. I am failure because I give pain to devotee. I mean Gadadhar. Gadadhar is not satisfied with me. So I am failure to take darshan of That means Mahaprabhu wanted to indicate something. If you have some aparad, Mahaprabhu is not doing any aparad. Mahaprabhu wants to teach us. If you are going to do some aparat, commit some aparat, some mistake, give some pain to some devotee, it will be one kind of barrier for you to see dham. Because dham is all other tattva. Dham cannot allow you. Dham can cover up everything. Dham can cover up, cannot allow you to see. You can see only tree and plant. Ah, yes, nothing. Somebody coming to Guru Maharaj, so many cases I remember. Someday, some devotee coming to meet with Guru Pātpada and pay Dandavat. Guru Maharaj asking, Dandavat, where from you are coming? 
Maharaj, we are coming from Vrindavan. Nice, you see darshan. So dirty. There is stool and urine here, monkey taking speck. Speaking all Ravi. A scavenging system, water drainage is not good, dirty smell. Guru Mahārāj speaking, you see, he is gone to Vrindavan. Come on. He is coming from Vrindavan. This is their Vrindavan darshan. Guru Mahārāj speaking, teaching me. You see Vrindavan darshan. They are looking Vrindavan. With these dirty eyes, dirty heart, we cannot see Vrindavan. We can see some monkey, stool and urine here and there this weekend and come back. We are cheated. Dham cannot manifest. Otherwise, why Bhaktivinoda Thakur is not foolish? Bhaktivinoda Thakur is speaking, Dhamero sarup spurive nayone hoiva radharodas. Dhamero sarup can manifest in front of me. Dhamero sarup spurive nayone hoiva radharodas. Dhamir Saru, Bhakti Muntag was speaking. If I go to Dham, not that I can see Dham. I can take a plane ticket and go to Vrindavan. This, this is not Vrindavan Darshan. This is not. Dhamir Saru is Puri Venoya. A Sarup of Dham, who can help you? Who can help you? Those who are the eternal servant of Nityananda Prabhu. That's why Narutama Thakur uh, crying. That's why Narutama Thakur is crying and uh, singing one kirtan. Narutama Thakur is singing one kirtan, nice. Ar kabe nitai chader koruna hai. Vishaya vashona mor kabe tuchya hai. Bharati Maharaj very often used to speak this. Very often. Ar kabe nitai chader koruna hai. When Nithyananda Prabhu can best to keep on me? Ar kabe nitai chader koruna hoive, vishaya vasana mor kabe tu chahave. All material desire, when can go away, leaving me. When my material desire can get vanished from my life, without the mercy of Nithyananda not possible. Nithyananda not possible writing. आर कवि नीताई चादर कोरुना हुई विषय बासुना मोर कवि तुच्छ हो विषय छारिया कवि शुद्ध हो बे मोन व्हेन माय माइंड कैन बिकन टोटली फ्री ऑफ एनी मटेरियल कंटेमिनेशन कवि हम हेरबो सी बिंदावन सो इट ऑनर था सो नॉर्थ मोड़ा को आल्सो गोइंग टू इंडिकेट आस दैट विथ ऑनर था you have no chance to see them. North India, this kitchen. North is going to indicate that when my material disease can go away forever, I, my heart become very pure, and when I can see Siddham Vindavan, Vishay Charya Kabe Shuddha Habe Moon, when my mind can become free of any matter, free, totally free, clean, very bright. Vishay Chariya Kabe Shuddha Habe Man, Kabe Ham Herobo, when I can see Siddham Vindavan. So you understand? So by the mercy of Nityananda is possible, otherwise, you know, Dhamir Swarup is not possible. Now Nityananda Prabhu, giving permission to our Jivago Saimpad. You go quickly to Vindavan because Prabhu giving giving order to each and everybody of your like Suru Sanatan. Prabhu already have given. Prabhu already have given permission for you. So on Vindavan. So under the guidance of Rupa Goswami Path, Sanatana Goswami Path, we can stay in Vrindavan. Vrindavan is Niskinchan place. When Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan, he wanted to take permission from devotees. So from there we know, first trip was not failure, the purpose was different. But Prabhu speaking, my Vrindavan trip was failure, I couldn't go to Vrindavan. 
because I have committed offer. Gadadhar was sorry, he was feeling pain, so I couldn't. So with, with, with uh, Aparat, we have no chance to go to Vrindavan. First point. Then Mahaprabhu's mood, Mahaprabhu wanted to go through Jhari Khand. Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan, not, not through main road. There was main road. There was main road. But Mahaprabhu not going. Mahaprabhu going to forest. To avoid the association, to avoid the association of material people. The second point we learn, those who are really interested for, those who are really interested to see Vrindavan, they must some avoid the association of material people. Second point you find. First point you say, you should not do any opera. If opera, then Dhamma cannot, Dhamma cannot open their sarup in front of you. Second point, why Mahaprabhu wanted to go through forest? Because there is risks. There is, there is tiger, lion, everything. Why Mahaprabhu took risks this way? Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord Krishna. What tiger can do? Inside tiger, Mahaprabhu is sitting. Inside elephant, Mahaprabhu is sitting. Where not? Everywhere Mahapu city. So Maha is no problem for Maha. But with Mahaprabhu, Balabhadra, Brahman, one Brahman, and another Brahman, they are following Mahaprabhu. They are afraid. When they watch Mahaprabhu going to, you know, dancing in front of tiger, they become afraid they are coming back. Oh, tiger. But tiger anyway not going to do anything. Taiwan not going to do anything, anyhow. But Mahaprabhu going, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. To deliver all, to deliver all ferocious animal. Mahaprabhu also wanted to deliver all ferocious animal. Ferocious animal. Otherwise, why Mahaprabhu going this way? First point, he wanted to deliver so, you know, so ferocious animal. Second point, he wanted to avoid the association of material people. Same thing when Mahaprabhu, after taking sannyas, where Mahaprabhu went first? After taking sannyas, where Mahaprabhu went first? First where? South India, you forget. South India, South Indian, South Indian trip was the first trip. Mahaprabhu wanted to go to South India. To meet with Raya Ramananda, these had to unveil the mystery. Mahaprabhu wanted to discover the Brahma Sangita and uh, you know, Krishna Karnamrita, the best book, documentary book regarding Rasa Tattva, regarding you know, you know, Tattva Siddhanta. All. But there also you can see, it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, when Mahaprabhu going, running, Mahaprabhu, tall leg, running, Krishna, 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 this way I am speaking. Krishna Kesava Pai Himam, Rama Raghava Rama Raghava Rama Raghava Rakshamam. Somebody asking me, why Mahapu is speaking Krishna Krishna Krishna? I was speaking Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna. But now he is running this way. Mahapu wanted to avoid the association of Mayavadi, Buddhist, all. That's why taking shelter of Krishna. He Krishna himself. Mahaprabhu himself Krishna. But still going to take. Krishna, 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 Pahima, Rama, Raghava, Rama, Raghava, Rama, Raghava, Rakshamam, Mahapurus, all the way. Why? Because it is known to everybody that South, South Indian, South Indian zone is full of Mayavadi. South Indian zone is full of Mayavadi. Also, there is every possibility you can meet with Buddhists. If you look them, you will have to take Mahapur told, if you see one Mayavadi, and you meet with one Buddhist, you will have to go and uh, take bath with cloth. Mahapu wrote, you become contaminated. You become contaminated, Mahapu told. Mayavadi, if you watch, you will have to take bath with your cloth. Cloth is also. So, so fine judgment. Common people cannot understand, what is the cloth? <laughs> cloth, what is contamination? We do cannot understand. Fine contamination. It is fine contamination. Fine contamination you cannot discover externally. 
fine consumption is so fine that externally you cannot understand. Follow. I can show you. If somebody going to somebody going to carry somebody going to carry some rice. Somebody, a Choto Haridas, from Bengal coming, and some material man want to carry, uh, and already, and that that man going to touch, Mahaprabhu could realize. Mahaprabhu could realize some material man touched it. So fine. But actually, we cannot understand so fine judgment. So anyway, Mahaprabhu going to South India, and he wanted to avoid Mayavad Sangha, all different kind of pasanda, heartless people. So Mahaprabhu wanted to speak Krishna, 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 Krishna this way. But now why Mahaprabhu going to Vrindavan? Why Mahaprabhu going through Jharikhan deep forest to deliver all ferocious animals? I mean those were and at the same time to avoid material association. It is good. And third point, Mahaprabhu already told, it is written there in Chaitanya Jyotir, Mahaprabhu can have the feeling of Vrindavan travelling. Because Vrindavan forest, Mahaprabhu wanted to get this kind of feeling. If I go to Jarikanda, if I go to Jarikanda, there we can find some rock and hills, you know, and there is tree and plants, everything very nice. So the feeling of Vrindavan is a important thing from Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu anywhere, not only there. When Mahaprabhu went to South India, at the bank of Kaveri, it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, that Mahaprabhu when watching Kaveri, Mahaprabhu Look, Mahaprabhu thinking it is Vrindavan, it is Jamuna, it is written. What to speak about Kaveri, when Mahaprabhu doing Lila in Vrindavan, in Purushottam Dham, even ocean, Mahaprabhu used to say it is, it is Jamuna and jump into it. Follow what I say, very scrutiny. With material when you cannot ask, if you go deep into the filler, it is written. Mahaprabhu jumping into ocean with the feeling that it is, it, is, it is Jamuna. Come on, it is not Jamuna. It is sea, ocean. It is ocean. But Mahaprabhu thinking it is Jamuna. Jumping. Mahaprabhu watching uh, Radha, Krishna, they are all playing into water, water game. Mahaprabhu jump. So all the time, Mahaprabhu going to advise us that you will have to maintain this kind of feeling. Otherwise, you are the loser. Same thing, Ma Mahaprabhu wanted to advise to Raghunath. When Raghunath Goswami wanted to get some advice from Mahaprabhu, when Raghunath Das Goswami wanted to get some advice from Mahaprabhu, what to do or not to do? Mahaprabhu speaking, I already... I already arranged your Guru. Saurabh Gosai is a Guru. You can ask from him. But Saurabh Gosai speaking, he like to hear from you directly, something. Well, then Mahaprabhu speaking, don't try to eat nice, nice thing. Balona Kaibiva. Grammo Kotha, material talkings. You can stop material talkings. You can stop material talkings, both hearing and speaking. You can stop both material talking and, and hearing. First point. And also you can avoid, you can avoid the mood to take nice, nice prasad. Balona kaivyar balona puribi. Balo, good, good, nice, nice. So in that case, and with full concentration, you can feel that you are in Vrindavan. With this feeling, you can serve Radha Govinda all the time. So in Bengali it is written, Grammo Kathana Kohibe, Gramma Vartana Sunibe, Bhalona Khaibe or Bhalona Puribe, or Niskinchan Hoya, Sada, Krishna Nam Lave, Radha Govindana, Baja. So all the way Mahaprabhu wanted to show us. Mahaprabhu going through 
Jarikhanda forest to prove so many things. Mahapu wanted to feel that I am in Vrindavan automatically. Mahapu going to Jarikhanda forest. Mahapu feeling I am in Vrindavan. He like to feel. So we must also feel anywhere. Vrindavan. After that, anyway, Balabhadra, who is going to cook something, is also interesting because there is no market in the there is no market in the forest where you can but some tribal people there from there they can arrange some rice rice crude rice village people some remote village tribal people not not tribal people it is written, it is not written tribal people because tribal people they are ferocious so i used to go to some house there in remote village is to collect some rice and this and Spinach, you know, spinach, shark, shark, you know, shark. In the forest, is to collect and cook. Some sabji available in the forest and bone no shark. So Mahapur feeling very thrilling as a this you know journey is very thrilling. So ultimately Mahapur going to reach uh, Baranasi, you know, Baranasi. Ultimately going to uh, reach Varanasi, na? Uh, first Varanasi. After that going to Allahabad. Follow. So in Varanasi actually Mahaprabhu delivered those bond those uh, Mayavadis. After that Mahaprabhu going to Vrindavan. Follow. Mahaprabhu going to Vrindavan. In Allahabad, Mahaprabhu going to meet with Rupa Goswami path and Anupam, all step by step. Finally, Mahaprabhu going to Vrindavan. There, Ma I already told he took place. Mahaprabhu took a very solitary place in uh, no, where Okrur Ghat. Mahaprabhu staying in Okrur Ghat. Why? He wanted to avoid because material people can come and disturb. Material people anyway coming to disturb. So Mahaprabhu took decision to like to stay in a very nice place, Okrur Ghat. No common people cannot disturb. Otherwise, Mahaprabhu's appearance is such a nice appearance. Every outside people, who is he so nice looking? Everybody can come and disturb. So Mahaprabhu wanted to stay there in Okrur Ghat. But daily Mahaprabhu used to go to Vrindavan to take darshan of Jamuna. By that time, I can gradually explain. By that time, Vrindavan, by that time in Vrindavan, or Gopindo, Gopinad, Madan Mohan, all, gradually they manifest. At the time of Mahaprabhu, it is not there. Gradually, by the blessings of Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu come back. Come back mean? Come back mean Mahaprabhu don't like to come back from Vrindavan. Mahapu don't like to come back from Vrindavan like to, because the eternal about Mahapu like to stay there. Anyway, I told Mahaprabhu was doing Harinam, chanting Harinam. In Imli Tala. Imli Tala, you know? Imli Tala. Tarmanin, Tarmanin tree there, Imli Tala. Mahaprabhu doing Harinam and in front of Mahaprabhu there's a very nice water flow of Jamuna going on, Mahaprabhu feeling some aesthetic feeling. In the meantime, one Brajavasi from that side of river, his name is Krishna Das. His name is Krishna Das. He coming, cross the river, and first of all, you, you meet with Mahaprabhu. He's going to meet with Mahaprabhu and paying Dandavar to Mahaprabhu and speaking, today miracle, in dream I saw you, that Krishna was speaking today in the morning time before le when, uh, leaving my bed, I saw one dream. In dream, I saw you. In dream, I saw you. And now I cross the river, I meet with you. So I understand who are you. I'm going to pay prostrate Dandavad and staying with Mahaprabhu. So long as Mahaprabhu doing all Vrindavan, Parikram, all everything. All the time, he is going to stay with Mahaprabhu. 
all the time. And I already told, first time, when Mahaprabhu reached Mathura, because when you come in from outside, first of all you have to go to Mathura, na? After that from Mathura you can come. So when Mahaprabhu met Mathura, which, 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 which place Mahaprabhu went to uh, take darshan, I can discuss. And Mahaprabhu meet with one uh, Sonoriya Brahman. One Brahman is there in Mathura staying. There is no high class, high class, not high, ca high class Brahman, low class Brahman. But low class in man, not at, according to not my, not according to my estimation. They speak like that. I mean, outside people not going to take water and prasadam there in the house. That Sonariya Brahman meet with Mahaprabhu in in Adikesha. Adikesha, there is some deity, I can explain. Govindu Dev, Adikesha, Govindu Dev, eh, Baladev, uh, Sinat, Sinatji, and uh, in uh, uh, Haridev, all from, all from Daparju. Expression. All from Govindu Dev also. I can come to the point. So, in front of that, you know, Adikesha, Mahaprabhu dancing and singing, in front of Adikesha, it is backside, it is backside, I can come to the discussion gradually, it is actually backside of present Krishna Virva place. But you can go mad if I say, the place at present they are the place at present they are going to show as the birthplace of Krishna is not at all birthplace. Nobody knows. The place you are watching as the Avirbha place of Krishna, not at all that place. In Chaitanya Chaitanya it is reaching near Adikesha. That is broken building. Nobody knows. It is the arrangement of Jogumaya, Mahamaya. Not Jogmaya. So, Mahamaya don't like to guide you properly. So, all people, government and all, they took decision to make a temple there and preach, this is the birthplace of Krishna. I don't go there because I know it is not the birthplace. It is not the birthplace. Birthplace, you don't know. Broken building. one. Nobody going there. Just near Adikesha is a broken. Nobody knows. In Chaitanya Jami is the routine. So, this Adikesha, they are Mahaprabhu dancing with full ecstatic mood. In the meantime, Mahaprabhu watching that Brahman, Sonodiya Brahman, is also dancing and singing. Then uh, they are attracted to each other. Naturally, if you find a man of your own stamp, if you can find a man of your own stamp, surely you can. Who are you? Where from you are coming? Natural. Same mood. So Mahaprabhu and Sanodiya people are discussing with each other. I think, I think you have link with uh, Madhavendra Puripat? Yes. So, I am the disciple of Madhavendra. Yes, you are the disciple of Madhavendra Puripat. Mahaprabhu wants to pay Dandavat to him. He is Krishna. He is going to pay Dandavat to Sanodiya Brahman. You are my Guru Varga. So now you have become fear. Ah, you are paying Dandavat, you are Krishna. Oh my God. It seems you are Krishna. Don't pay Dandavat, I fear. Mahapu speaking that when, uh, when Acharya, I mean Madhavendra Bhura came, but long ago, he came and meet with me here, Adhikesha of everything. He took prasadam in my house, Really? I can also take prasadam in your house. But actually people can criticize you. Oh, let them criticize. Mahayano yeno gato sapanta. Mahajan, my Guru Bhargava. Ma Madhavendu Puriba took. When our Guru Bhargava is doing anything, I cannot play my head. When my Guru Bhargava is doing something, if I play my head, if I am going to play my head to rectify that, then is great offense. 
So Mahaprabhu wanted, how many things are teaching, learning? Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us that Mahajano Jano Jeno Gato Sapanta. What our Guru Varga is doing, don't try to play your head. No calculation is applicable. So my Guru Varga is done, I can do blindly. Guru Varga is done, nice Guru Varga, like Ishwar Madhavendra Puriva. So I is going to take Prasadam there. After that, Mahapo took decision to go for Parikram. It is after, from Mathura, Mahapo traveling so many guards, 24 guards. If I go on, you can go. I can also, cannot remember all. So many guards. Different guards. Different, different guards. I visit, but I cannot remember. So many guards, who can remember? Okay. So Mahapo took bath each guard. You can take bath, each guard. You can die. Mahapo taking bath, each guard. Taking all, all parikram, you know, doing Mahaprabhu. Then finally before, so before doing big parikram, I mean to do Brajumandar parikram, Mahapo for some days wanted to stay there in Akrur Ghat. I am speaking. After that, Mahaprabhu took decision to go to different forests. I can come tomorrow. How Mahaprabhu took decision and who all went with Mahaprabhu? Because Balabhadra is already there. He is the cook man. And another Brahman going to help to wash utensils and everything with Mahaprabhu. They took come. And with, along with them, along with them, our Krishna Das, the Bajavasi, so that's the Bajubasi is, is going to do. Sonoriya Grahman also. So with all Brajavasi is very nice. Mahapur took decision to go for Parikram very nicely. Which 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 on a forest because there is mainly twelve forests. But there is also sub forest. There is also so many sub forests, but mainly twelve forests. Mainly twelve forests there. So twelve forests, Mahaprabhu, where, from where, how, going, this, that, we can discuss anyway. Uh, so, we we'll have to remember each and every time the teachings of Mahaprabhu. That's why. We are going to discuss, we want to know the mood of Mahaprabhu. Because in, I can discuss tomorrow, Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us something. Whole people in Vrindavan, I mean so many people, they are shouting, Krishna appear in Vrindavan. Because some of them are going to inform that in Jamuna, night time Krishna dancing on Kaliyana. So many people coming and speaking to Mahaprabhu, Krishna appear in Vrindavan. But really Krishna appear in Vrindavan, that is Mahaprabhu, but they don't know. They are speaking right. They are speaking right. The Krishna appear in Vrindavan, coming in Vrindavan. But they don't, don't understand. It's the arrangement of Maya. They are speaking to Mahaprabhu. Krishna appear in Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu laughing. Where? Where? Kaliyada. How you know? A night time actually, Krishna dancing on and, and, uh, Kaliyanag, all hoods. And thousands of, thousands of hoods, na? Kaliyanag. They are dancing. Oh, really? Krishna appear, Mahaprabhu joking. Hello. And Balabhadra speaking, Prabhu, I like to take darshan of Krishna. <laughs> Balabhadra speaking, Prabhu, I heard that everybody speaking Krishna appear in Vrindavan. So you allow me, I can go to Vrindavan. That? Foolish. Say it here. <laughs> Don't understand. Krishna is there with him. I cannot understand. There is the arrangement. I can discuss it very nice. <laughs> it is one kind of comedy. <laughs> very nice. I can discuss tomorrow. Tomorrow time. Today time cannot uh, uh, no permit. So many things we have to learn from the parikram of Mahaprabhu. Gradually. So much attraction for each and place of Mahaprabhu going. How Mahaprabhu discovered Radha Kun, Sam Kun. How Mahapu went to Giriraj Govardhan, not going to climb Giriraj, I can discuss gradually. Not now, time cannot permit. Please help me. Anyway, cooperate with me. So, 
धन जीवन जौवन राज सुखम नहीं मनुक्षन नाशो परम तेज ग्राम कथा सकलम विफलम भज गोद्रुम कानन रंजी विदुम भज गोद्रुम कानन रंजित विदुम भज गोद्रुम कानन रंजी विदुम वाछा कल पद के पास पतितानंद पावन विष्णु वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग महाप्रभु परिक्रम 